Hi guys, this is Jim coming to you with our second segment of our class video project, our 1981 EHS 15th class reunion in Corning, New York. Now just so you don't have to look at me during this brief prelude, I'm going to give you a slow motion puzzle to watch, okay? And if you prefer to go directly to the video, just skip ahead about five minutes. Seems like every day we hear a lot of bad stuff going on in the world, and I'm just happy I can offer something to wash our ears out with. I really enjoyed producing this, and I think you'll get a kick out of it. Thinking back to this event, there were over 100 in attendance, with about 40% of them being spouses. We had a great time, despite the inclement weather, as you're about to see. I mean, it rained the whole time while we were there, and it was an outdoor event. While putting this together, I've been thinking how fortunate we are to have fellow colleagues who value old ties and friendships from years long ago, to say nothing of those who continue to take it upon themselves to pull these reunions together. And you know, that's, that's not an easy task. But it's a rewarding experience, and I guess that's what makes it work. The fact is, if you think about it, many classes don't even have reunions. It's not that they don't want to, but few want to take the initiative to pull it off. So on behalf of myself and our fellow classmates, to Claudette and Nancy and all the members of all the committees that have made these possible over the last 50 years, sincerest thanks. You're going to hear Dan Lehman saying it best as he expresses his disappointment about the turnout from our local classmates. He estimated there to be about 100 classmates within 100 miles who didn't attend this particular reunion. And you know, I get it. There's no novelty in coming home, I guess, for classmates who already live there. And it would appear they don't have a desire to see their classmates. Okay, but to those I'd say you're missing something. Your classmates, most of whom invested considerable time, effort, and expense to travel great distances, did so to do what? Well, they did it to see you. So don't snub us. This is a reunion. Don't let us down, gang. For some, it could just be making an effort to turn off a computer or TV and reaching out. We want you to be an integral part of this, and we're all missing out big time if you don't come join us in July. Our class memorial video, among other things, was a wake-up call for some. I know it was for me. And I just wanted to touch on a few statistics that may be worthy in considering attending our July event. Statistically, research shows out of a class of 330 students, which coincidentally was the approximate size of our class, if I'm not mistaken, seniors can expect the following death rate. The loss of three classmates by the 10th year reunion. The loss of seven by the 20th. 15 by the 30th. 32 by the 40th. And the loss of 70 classmates by the 50th reunion. That statistical national rate reports one out of five of us will be gone before our 50th reunion. One out of five. The good news is, Having lost 41 classmates to date, we're 29 ahead of that statistical curve. So I'm thinking, and, and maybe it's just me, but if you're fortunate enough to be a survivor by your 50th reunion, please seriously consider being a part of our celebration with your fellow survivors in our golden years. I'm telling you, we're going to be looking for you in July. Now for our classmate interviews. This requires just a brief setup for some of what you're about to see will really seem strange. First, you have to keep in mind back in 81, there weren't any such things as home camcorders, video cameras, or home video tape players. That technology just didn't exist yet. Can you believe it? That's how long ago this was. I mean, it seems like they've been a part of our lives forever, right? Well, with just a small studio video camera alone back then costing $25,000 to $40,000, they were unheard of outside of a TV studio. The only way anyone could recognize this equipment would have been for them to have been on a howdy duty show or at a sporting event or in a TV studio of some sort, which explains about what you're about to see. So picture this. I'm carrying this huge, somewhat complex, heavy elongated box and placing it on this huge tripod. It didn't look like a camera because few knew what video cameras look like. So unless they were told, few even knew they were being videoed. And, of course, seeing the microphone, they assumed it was just audio. Not only are you going to see classmates amazed that they're being taped, but you'll wonder why others kept standing in front of the camera, which was about 10 to 12 feet away. They didn't know it was a camera. Had I been the cameraman, I would have assured a clear view, but that's just one of the problems with the quality of this video. Another problem is that the cameras back then required direct lighting. And had the day not been overcast, the color would have been perfect. And, of course, the last problem is... As tapes age, the quality just deteriorates to some extent. 
The original planned series would have been individual full-length interviews like Dave and Patty Kells, but to limit this to one 30-minute setting, this had to consist of shortened excerpts. So grab your popcorn and let's all go together back to 1981 to an outdoor pavilion at Hodgkin's Park in Painted Post. Enjoy, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Here we are, two, three o'clock high school reunion of Corning Painted Post East High School. What do we do? Come on, come on, come on over really here, little girl. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to be on TV? We're, we're just going to Are we really? Oh, my goodness. Kathy oh, Lee Rupert well, here. Well, listen, Paul. Patty Bennett. Kenneth. Here. Kenneth. 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 Oh, I'm listen. the Kenneth. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm a dental hygienist, a dental and I have hygienist. two children. Are you uh, married or single? Ma married. Married, yes. I'm okay. married, yeah. Are you married or happy? I'm both. Are you both. married or happy? I'm both. <laughs> both? Oh, you caught oh, it. See you that? caught it. <laughs> My husband's <laughs> standing right there. I can't say anything, hey, anything, hey, anything, anything, anything else. Michael. Get him. Mike, come on up here yeah. and say howdy. <laughs> Go ahead, Larry. Tell him your name. Oh, my name's Larry. Larry. He got that right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have you kept him? <laughs> how long? Uh, let's see now. Ten, almost 10 years now. Um, 10 years. 10 years? Yes. 10 hey. years. Ten years and two kids. Yeah, ten years. Ten and years two and kids. two kids, huh? Yeah, ten years. I gotta hand it to you. How long for you folks? Two and a half. Two and a half. Hey, you're on your way, you know? We keep saying, oh, another year. We <laughs> made it. My heavens, wonders never see. Hey, that's here. Right his old buddy way back from East High, and he's got his other half with him, Julie Burrell. That's fantastic. How long have you guys been married now? Twelve years. Twelve years? Going on thirteen. How many kids? Two. Two. Two kids. Nine and seven. Boy and a girl. Real good. Yeah. That's good. Feel a lot better. Lost about 60 pounds. Is that right? Yeah. That's fantastic. Look good, good, guys. Hey, happy 15th. Yeah, you too. Huh? You too. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Yeah. Mike, see you later. Call. Mike Costello, right? Is this your other half? This is my yeah. better half. Your daughter. Uh, oh, no. not your daughter. daughter. Not your daughter? Hey. Uh, <laughs> Tom, what are you up to these days? I'm a nuclear planning engineer down a Three Mile Island. Nucle is that right? Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Interesting work. Good to have you with us. Sorry, Linda couldn't yeah. join us, but she's over yeah. there. She's a shy one, huh? Yep. <laughs> okay, you better go back and give her some company. Hey, nice to have you with us, Tom. Yeah. Mike, you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I met yeah. you about five years ago, as a matter of right. fact. What you guys up to? Hey, you know, I never got to kiss the bride. Oh, my, please. Give me a hug. <laughs> How you doing? This is on camera. <laughs> you betcha. Okay. And you're you're doing what out there? Yeah, I'm a police sergeant in Long Island, Nassau County. You know, last five years ago you weren't a sergeant. You no, I was uh, just a police officer. You've officer. come up in the world. Yeah. That's good. How's your dad doing? Very good. Never remarried. Looks the same. Is that right? Yeah. Well, nice to see you guys. Five years from now, you know, ten years from now when we see this, we'll, we'll have a good time last <laughs> Nice seeing you again, guys. Take care. Glad to see you here on, on film. This is little, <laughs> little Miss Gail Harrington with her hubby Roy. How long have you guys been married? Try Ray, and it's 12 years. 14, 14 years. years. I Ray. almost missed that. Boy, you, look, you look happy. Nice to have met you, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> I got it you right. Got it right. There you go. Good to see you here. See you on the 20th, right? Oh, definitely. Okay, happy 15th. <laughs> see you later. Doing what? Dry cleaners. How works, how works dry cleaners? I'm West William. Oh, is that right over here yeah. in the morning, huh? Yeah, I've been working there since, uh, oh, 1968. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, well, as a Corning Knight, you're pretty satisfied, <laughs> apparently, with a, with, a, with a big city and a lot of big changes. Looks like Corning is in the bucks these days. Yeah, I think so. For the it's city itself. made a lot of changes since the flood. Yeah, it's yeah. my understanding that we had uh, over $100 million granted from the government tax, or pardon me, uh, interest-free. Are you a radio announcer now? No. <laughs> <laughs> interest-free. That was given to the cities of Corning and Painted Post. Yeah. Well, you can see, that's, it's obvious to look around why Corning and Painted Post have come to be what they are, putting in figures like that, you know. For the 10th, no. <laughs> okay, hey, John. I didn't make it for that one, so. You didn't make it for the 10th, you missed out. No. We had a good one. Yeah, that's we what I heard. Good. good to see us. Good to see you here, guy. Take, Take it easy. Okay, well.
pardon me if I, I I'm there. Uh, Nancy Lawrence. Okay, I mean that's your, your husband, Gary. Hey, where are you where are you guys from? Lockport. Lockport. Get over here where they where they can see you. Nancy Lawrence, here, guys, huh? Oh, that's Tim behind the camera, isn't it? <laughs> huh? That's Tim. Uh, how long have you guys been married? <laughs> two years. Two years. How long? Have you been married? Two years. <laughs> I guess it's been two years. Are you guys? Just in any way. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys married or happy? We're married. That's too Stand bad. Happy. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Almost quite. Works you. out. How many, how many kids do you have? None. None? One. Wow, wait. One you dog? Baby, One dog? You brought your baby? No children, hey, but look at kids. Looks just like you, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Linda Mayer? Where's Hi. your little hubby? Huh? Right over there. Come over here. Didn't he go to, I thought he went to West High. <laughs> no, I didn't go to West High. Hey, Jim Connell here. <laughs> What's your name? Bill Stilson. Bill Stilson and Linda. Hey, how long have you guys been married? Seven. Seven years. Oh. Turn, turn around here so we can catch it. Oh, you're on camera too. Uh, I don't follow what you're after. Oh, I mean, uh, what are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, do you do work or you yeah, I work at Chronic independently Glass, wealthy? Work at Chronic <laughs> Glass Works. I wish I was independently wealthy. <laughs> okay. Work at Chronic Glass Works as a machine designer. Yeah. Are you a working little woman, Linda? No, I'm just a leisure housewife. Well, that's a big job in itself. I went to college for three years and got two degrees. I did the YMCA for a year. Then I decided I'd like being leisure. Hey, I think you got the right idea, you know? I've tried doing that before, but it doesn't work. Yeah, I play tennis and macrame and... Boy, you're taking good care of her. It's plain to see. Yeah. It's plain to see. Well, you're looking good. Nice talking with you. Nice meeting you. Take care, huh? We have it all the way from where? All the way from here. All the way from here. <laughs> Corning, New York. Corning, New York. Right. Tim and Linda Shattuck. Hey, good to have you guys here at the 15th reunion of Corning Painted Post East High School. That's right us. here. Yes, yes. Right here at, uh, what is the name of this park? Hodgkin's Park? Hodgkin's Park. Hodgkin's Park. Hodgkin's park. I was wondering, I never heard of a park named after a disease before, but uh, this is but it. Right? This, this is it. Geez, we got a comedian here, too. <laughs> is that right? No, I hadn't been mentioned to my wife as we come in. It's funny how everybody's gotten older but us, you know. And yeah, so I know what you mean about that. I know exactly you know, what you mean. Around, it's hard to recognize people with you know, beards and uh, gray hair and things. Well, well speaking of gray yeah. hair, <laughs> I pluck mine out every other week. I've got to pluck Is that it. Is right? Yes. What, what are you doing, Jim? I have my own video production company. Is that right? That's right. Well, you're right. familiar with some of this equipment. Oh, yes. How long have you guys been married? Uh, going on 12 years. 12 the years. end of this month, yeah. 12 years, huh? Three kids, 12 years. That's quite a milestone in these huh? days, you know what? Come over here. Hey, nice minute, talking to you guys. Pizza. Pizza's not here. Hey, Tom, good to see you again, guy. Good to see you, you, Tim. You look a little bit different. So do you. What is it, the hair? Must be your hair, too, Jim. And the mustache. Uh, the flat top scar. <laughs> <laughs> but you remember that awful thing? <laughs> oh, it's, it did. It certainly did. Oh, yeah, that went a long time ago. As a matter of fact, the year after I graduated from high school. Really? I just started splitting in the middle of when the, when my bald spots uh, really began to appear. <laughs> And, uh, so well, it's been really good. So. Well, Tom, what are you up to? Well, uh, we just opened a new drugstore. Yeah, and, uh, two of them, as a matter of fact. Yes, well, uh, the other one we opened in 1972, and we've okay. just expanded into our new drugstore. Are you married, Tom? Yes. Teresa Lisi, another cr classmate. Hey, where is that little gal? I don't know where Teresa is. Teresa she is, uh, I don't know where Teresa is. Dudley, what's going on, fella? Wait a minute. Now, is this thing on? Do you have a remote control? No, there's no remote. Uh, oh, Tim Butcher's over there, and he has a speaker that he's listening to, and when I say, hey, Tim, turn it off, because it. Is he turning it on? It's, on? it's on right now. Well, now, okay, proceed. Well, what are you up to these days? Well, I live on the West Coast. I live in Seattle, Washington, and, and I work for Corning Glassworks. In Seattle? In Seattle, Washington, yes. Well, they got one of them out there, too, huh? <laughs> Corning gets around. Yeah, well, this is a sales territory. It's not a. There's no manufacturing or anything like that there. It's totally sales. I see. And you're single. And I'm single. How did Probably you? one of the few, but I'm still single. Yeah. Hey, you, you realize we've been out of school longer than we were in school? Uh, hey, that's a little uh, philosophical here. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that really brings home the point, you know. Doug, I appreciate you coming okay. by and talking to us. All we'll right. see another. Okay, here's another. Right, here's here's another. another. Hey, which one is yours? <laughs> this is Teresa and Sylvia. <laughs> And no, 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 it isn't. Actually, this we... This is Sylvia. Sylvia D. That's who it is. It's an old class of ours. And this is Teresa. We remember Teresa, history class. Lisi Rossetti. You have to put Lisi in there. Oh. It's Lisi a lot longer than I am Rossetti. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> how, how many years has it been? Uh, six. Six, six years, years. Going on... Years. Seven. Going on seven. seven. Marty Black. <laughs> well, let's, let's think fake. Going on lifetime, right? That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for. But you guys are counting one by one. You never know. <laughs> this little flower. Yes. Diane Clark Pieri. 
Tada! Tada! Yes. yes. Now where's Tom? He's working. No, he was just here. I just he had a beer with him. He's working at the Hotel Central. Okay, now you have to. Yeah, we have Baker tell Street. Us. This is a dumb. No, do it. Do it. Come in. Um, breakfasts and lunches. Go to the Hotel Central. Central. You'll, <laughs> you'll see him next year. Yeah. Yes, his business. Maybe. <laughs> All right. It seems I filled a lot of prescriptions. <laughs> you do, Tommy. You okay. do. I'm no good at this uh, TV host thing, and I've got to, I've got to get rid of this microphone. Hey. Well, Jim just stuck me with a microphone. He did. And I don't know what to do with it, so I'm going to give it to you, Chad. No, no, I don't want to hold it. I remember. He's good at talking. I'm not a good. Your talk. wife, Georgiana. Right. Come right in here. Come right in here. You gotta tell the camera all about you. Oh, you we're on in, camera. And your wife. Yes. That's Georgiana. Yes. She's my wife. Yes. Can you tell that? Uh, yeah. No. Huh? How husband long and have wife. you been married? Huh? Where are you Ten now? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Connecticut on our way to Washington. How to tell us what you've been doing? Lately. What are you doing? I'm with General Electric Corporate Public Relations Operation, doing advertising. Do you have any children? Three. Three? What size is Bailey now? Uh, have you already asked him all the pertinent questions? He's asked me all the pertinent questions. Yes, but we, we haven't got into the good stuff. The good oh, stuff. What? What is the good stuff? We enjoy, we've had a good sex life. Um, it's good. It's you about, know, this is good. This, you know, it's about all I can think of. Well, they passed. Obviously, they have three children. <laughs> hey, good job. Appreciate that. Hey, good to have you here, guys. Hey, John, you're looking good. Good to see you. Nice little woman you got there. Thank nice, you. nice to meet you. We'll see you later. Uh huh. See you later. Harold Hall. Hey, Harold, come here, boy. Come here. Bring Sandy with you. Take Here's a couple of very reluctant folks right here, guys. Harold and Sandy Hall. Actually, Sandy Justice. <laughs> right. How long have you guys been married now? Oh, uh, let me see. <laughs> that long? Yeah. Uh, you we just years. had our 11 anniversary. Years. 11, 11 years. 11, 11 years. 11 years. your anniversary. When? August 1st. <laughs> How many kids you got? Two. Two of them. <laughs> what are you doing, Harold? Assistant principal at Sodus Central School. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Fantastic. You, you're going to step up to principal here pretty soon and make a, a career out of it? Or? I can wait for that. You can wait for that. <laughs> yes. Are you a little housewife? I'm on maternity leave from teaching. I, I understand, as you told me a little earlier, Bill's not going to be able to make it. No, he can't make it. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, people are not going to notice, know any difference. Hey, Bill, how's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Very well, very okay, well. What have you been up to, Bill? Oh, I'm teaching at Alfred University. Alfred University, yeah. huh? Uh, yeah. Te do, teaching many, sociology how many there. Kids he, have? he has one child. Oh, there you have it, folks, from Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Harold Hall. Good to have you here at the oh. 15th, and we're going to see more of you here tonight. Good. Okay. Hey, see you later, we'll do that. Take care, Harold. See you later. Okay. Well, here we are with, with Patty Bennett. Right over here. What you been up to you lately, Patty? Well, chasing children mostly. Chasing children? How many? Just two, but they're preschoolers. And three. How long have you been married? Be 13 years. Ooh Let's see. I think that is one year from being the record. Oh really? I think we have 14 years. Uh, Tim Butcher and Cricket. Right. Fantastic. <laughs> Where about you located? In Corning. Right here in Corning, mm -hmm. huh? Let's see if we can catch them up. Nice talking to okay, you, Patty. Nice to talk Take to you. care. Okay. Uh huh. Come on, Nancy. I'm sorry to disturb you, Nancy. Actually, we wanted to, to get you on film on our tape, actually, for posterity. And, and, and uh, 23 Union, what you up to these days? I'm working at Corning Glass. I have two sons. Is that right? Yeah. Both boys. 11, 11 and 12. <laughs> two sons, both boys. I hope so, Rhea. Yeah. Hey, you're looking good. You betcha. Yeah, Hold England. Around. Take care. We'll see you Thank the 20th. You. Happy 15th. Ross, isn't it? Yeah, Ty. Tom. Tom, Tom Ross? Yeah, hey. friends call me Ty. Ty? Yeah. Where did they get that? Um... I don't know where it came from. Where I guess my brother couldn't say Tom <laughs> when we were well, kids. I, I saw Jim Ross, his your brother. Yeah, He's yeah. here somewhere. Okay, Tom, what are you, what are you up to? Uh, I just Tom. got out of work, yeah. Just got out of work just Yeah, now? I work for the post office. Oh, yeah, good. I just got I'm, out. I'm glad that you were able so I to, shot over here. to share some time with us. Uh, you married? No, no. You, you're still playing single, huh? Well, yeah. same here. Same here. Good to have you with us on the 15th. And looking forward to the, to the 20th, right? Yeah, Enjoy right, it, for huh? sure. <laughs> okay, take care, Tom. Hey, who's this little good-looking little woman here? This, your name must be Cricket. Yeah, like you, in Tim. As, as in Tim? Yeah. <laughs> Tim Butcher. Hey, are, are we on? Are we on there all right? Uh, I don't know really. I went and turned us on, but I don't know if we're centered. Tell you what, interview your little wife. Okay. And I'll be right back. Is this okay? personal? Well, how many kids do you have? Three. Three? Yeah. What kind? Girls. What's their name? Tracy, Amy, and Tara. Who's their father? Oh, me. Yeah, right. Are we still on centered? 
Were we centered well? We're just right on. We're centered well. How about that? I huh? want you guys to know, number 14, your top so far, the people that I've interviewed, have been married the longest. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, 14, I, you are definitely to be congratulated. That's a, that's a tremendous feat, particularly in these days and times. Tim, what are you up to these days? Uh, just self-employed contractor. But Timbo, we're going to be seeing more of you here a little yeah. uh, beyond today. Cricket, you're just a little doll man. Nice little gal you got here. Let's, let's, let me shake that hand. Hey! <laughs> is this on radio? No, it's not on radio for Pete's sake. It? Radio, no, no. Radio's nothing. You're radio on TV. Radio TV. <laughs> Here, I haven't got a thing to say. Hi to the folks. But I just want to say publicly that I did not interview Cricket in the men's room. That's right. It was he in the ladies' room. He went first and then I went. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that clarification, Tom. <laughs> That's right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have here Ann Cotter. Old Ann Cotter from way back there in 1966, East High, huh? You huh? do that well. I remembered that, didn't I? Yeah. Very good. Ann, what you up to these days? Nothing. Absolutely nothing? That's fantastic. How do you do it? Easy, you know. You Easy? go to work, you come home, and... Well, you're doing something if you're going to work. Where are you working? Glassworks. Oh, the Glassworks. You know, there's a lot of people around here who work at the Glassworks. Yep. You know, did, you, did you notice that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a funny thing about corning, yeah. you know? It's <laughs> about all there is. As a matter of fact, I think it's... All, well, there's Ingle Saran, you know. Oh, well, that's in Peter Post. That's, that's here, too. But anyway, are you married? Yeah. Is he here? No. He's not here. We appreciate your cooperation. You're a good girl, Ann. Thanks. I'm a mother. Is that right? Yes, I am. Two darling children. Well, yeah. did you bring your hubby I here? I work in a nursery school program. Um, no. He's not with you? How long have you been married? He's a minister. He has a wedding today, so... A wedding? Oh, yeah. We live in Canton, Ohio. Good to have you with us. Good to see you again. You're looking good. My goodness, Thank you're looking good. So are you. I'll see you later. Who else we? Oh, gotta get Joni Corker out here. You didn't think you were gonna get away, yeah, did you? I was hoping I would. <laughs> Why is that, Joni? Uh, Joni, I don't wanna. Yes. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How do you do it? Uh, having kids. Oh. What you up to? Oh, I'm living in Syracuse, staying home with three kids. My husband works for Upstate. Oh, have a good, good time. Good to see you, Joni. Yes, you Take too. Care. <laughs> what do you mean? What is this thing? Are we on? Okay. Dan and Nancy Lehman, right here. Lehman. Lehman. I apologize. It's all right. Nancy. Does everybody do that? It's all right. I don't feel so bad then. Good. <laughs> Just as ornery as ever, aren't you? You bet. <laughs> What'd you up to, Dan? Not much, Jim. Just oh. we're living in the area, and we're, this is no big deal to come to Painted Post. We live in Painted Post. <laughs> you live right here. Well, it's a big deal to see uh, how everybody's aged, right? It sure is. No one's aged at all. Hey, now hear that, folks. That is a nice guy. We re we all appreciate that. <laughs> now, 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 what do you really think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know half the people here. You know, I don't. Well, that's, that stands the reason. People who marry the half that I do know. <laughs> yeah. The, okay. Okay. That, that's clarification. Well, Nancy, what are you up to? Oh, Jim, we have three kids. Three kids. Yeah. yeah three kids. Seven, five, and two. Seven, five, and two. Hey, you yeah. got a houseful. Two girls and a boy. Yeah, they keep you pretty busy. Yeah. You playing housewife. Well, sorta. So I do that. Other things. Other things? Are yeah. you really doing the? No, sorta. Got it. I'm gonna start teaching in in the fall. And where? Part time. At East High. Is that right? At East High. Fantastic. Where to go? Hey, that's gonna be neat. Yeah. yeah. That is really gonna be neat. Dan, what are you up to? I work for Corning Glass. Corning Glass. I I think about half the people here work for Corning Glass, huh? Uh, a lot. Corning thing is people who live so close and don't bother coming. There's got to be a hundred people within a hundred mile radius of here. Who, are taking the time to come. <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Jim Conlon. How the world Hello, are Jim. Good. good. How are you? I'm looking good. Hey, restaurant do that to you? Yes. Restaurant business? My own cooking, right? <laughs> Your own cooking? Hey, it's good cooking. Yeah. I gotta admit. <laughs> gotta for it. Come on. What's the shyness all about? You never used to be shy. Uh, stage struck, right? Is that right? Yeah. We used to be in the in the stage a little bit. Didn't you do a little bit of acting back there in high school? Oh, I yeah, acted, yeah. but I was never on stage. But Porky, what are you up to these days? You working girl? No. You're a housewife? No. <laughs> I do nothing. You do nothing? No. Hey, that's fantastic. I know. It's great. How do you do that? It's not easy. <laughs> it is, it's hard to do that. <laughs> it's hard to do that. How long have you guys been married? 
12 years. 12 years. Last weekend was our anniversary, the 9th of August. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Something that, it's a place to be right now. Yeah. That and uh, air conditioning and computers. Yeah, air conditioning <laughs> and computers, right. Well, it won't be if we don't keep going. Yeah, it's you're 4:30. Right. Okay. It's hey, 4:30. Nice, thanks yes. talking with you, Court. Jim, nice seeing you. Take care, guys. Take it easy. Okay. Hey. That's right. Kids say that. Pat Moore, Jim Kylan here, fella. Uh, Haven't seen you in a long time. We had a nice little chat that we said we'd reiterate, so to speak. First of all, introduce us to your little woman. Uh, this is my wife, oh. uh, Sarah. Nice Moore. to meet you. Sarah, same last name as Pat. Yes. That's yes. right. It's convenient. Yes, we both have the same last name. That's about, and what, do you have any kids? Yeah, we've got two. Two of them? Yeah. <clears throat> How long have you guys been married? Oh, God. Oh, 14 years. Is it 14? Yeah. Hey, you're tied for first place. Not yet. It'll be 14 September 2nd. Hey, don't jump the gun. Oh, Seriously, Pat, tell us what you're doing these days. I'm a licensed land surveyor. I have my business here in Corning. Name the firm? Uh, it's my name. J. Patrick Moore, Places Lands are rare. <laughs> and that sort of says it all, doesn't that it? That says it all right there. Uh, if you look off <laughs> yonder, there, you see a good looking truck. That's my truck. Uh, the name's on it there, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I think they spelled more wrong. Oh, did they? <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, good to have you here, guys, at the 15th. Hey, Dave Kale, we got here all the way from where? Corning. Dave, what are you doing these days? I'm practicing law in Corning. An, an attorney? Right. Dave, you're a good man, fella. Appreciate you coming by. Bro. And uh, see you in the 20th, huh? Yeah. All right, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said to keep this simple. Yeah, that, it's, and it's getting he's, he's getting me confused. <laughs> I'm going to get tongue-tied. I won't be able to talk for the next two hours. What are you doing these days? Well, I represent a piece of the rock. Is that right? The Prudential. Pr the Prudential. The Prudential. And I've been with them for 11 years. Okay. He makes and I you can't refuse. <laughs> Prudential life, though. Prudential life. Not only do we sell life. However, we find him, find we, him. <laughs> we, we even insure people like Robert hey, Studner. That's high risk stuff. That's high risk. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What do I do? Yeah. I run heavy equipment for Dalrymple. For where? For Dalrymple. Oh, yeah? Construction, yeah. Right here in, uh, in Portland. Right here in wherever. <laughs> in wherever. <laughs> wherever. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you got that right. Dig a hole here, Danny. Okay, I'll be here. <laughs> I wasn't able uh, over, you know, wherever. I wasn't able to, to get your Wi-Fi on camera here, but I would like to extend the appreciation. I doubt if you will. Yeah, I doubt that I will either. I've tried hard. But I'd like to extend the appreciation of uh, Class of 66 to all the, the, Thank you. the uh, effort that you and your wife put forward. But I'm not taking the blame because the beer ran out. Yeah, well, I understand that. I think right. people understand that. We, and we're looking forward to the 20th, and what we'll do is we'll make this a part of it. Okay, guy? I think uh, the 20th will be better, really. I do. Okay. I do. Looking forward to it, Doc. <laughs> Talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Here. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Potter and family. Crystal Joy. Joy. Crystal Joy. How old is Crystal? She wants to eat it. Oh, hey. Okay. This stuff's not any good without butter. <laughs> <laughs> She's a cutie. How long you guys been married? Three years. Twenty years? Three, three years. years. Oh, three years. And where are you living? Only in New York. Oh, not too far away from here, is it? Huh? What you up to, Tom? Well, right now I'm the head of a, a private Montessori school. A monastery school? Montessori school. Montessori. It's a, it's a children's, a little children's school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, this works right in then, doesn't it? Right yep. into the business. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, glad you're here at the 15th. Good. See you at the 20th. Hey. Thanks, guys. See you later. Hey guys, little Ann Valerio. No, nope, no. Nope. Mary, Mary, Mary. Valerio. <laughs> Mary Ann is who I was thinking of actually. Yeah. But this is Mary Valerio. Now your sister's name is Ann. Ann, okay. And Hilda. We got, I got Sister Hilda. Now where is Ann? She's here somewhere, is. right? I don't know. She's got a red top on somewhere well, here. Well, there's several red tops, but we'll take our word for it. She's definitely here. Five foot. What you doing now these days, Mary? I'm taking. Uh, right now I'm. Uh, I'm working part-time as a nurse's aide at the hospital, and I'll be going to school for my second year at the college, taking nursing. Ah, you're going to be an RN. Yeah. That a girl. Yeah. But uh, we're glad you made it here this time. We yeah. just, see if we can help me get uh, Ann over here somewhere. There she is. She's right over there. Yep. Mr. and Mrs. Jim Ross here, ladies and gentlemen. From, from Henrietta, New York. From where? Henrietta. Henrietta. Yep. Drove all the way down here from Henrietta. How, yeah. how far is that? 100 miles. 100 miles. Hey, fantastic. That's Glad outside you, of Rochester. We appreciate you putting forth the effort, guys. How long have you been putting forth the effort? A good 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. You say that like, man, 12 years. We made it 12 years time. and maybe another 30 or 40. I'll bet, I'll, bet we've been I'll bet we've been married longer than anybody here. Someone, two people got you beat. They do. Two oh, couples. That's a, that's 14 years. Wow. They got married just that they got out of high school. No kidding. That's uh, Tom. Anybody see, get married? Pat Moore and Tim Butcher. 
they both have a beat, but fortunately there might be a few others, but as far as a few people that I've interviewed today, uh, you're running second place. That's not bad. But uh, what are you up to, Jim? What are you doing? Uh, I work for the Genesee Brewery, and we have an antique shop on the side, too. An antique firm? Yep. Is that right? We have our own shop. Hey, there's big bucks in antiques. Well, we deal in the higher class antiques. Yeah. What are you up to? She runs just, the antique yeah, shop. just run the antique shop and take care of three kids. It's a joint effort then, huh? Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure talking with you here, and appreciate you joining us all the way from Henrietta, yeah. New York. Right. Well, I gotta see that. We'll be watching you. Uh, we might, we might even see it a little bit today, a little bit later. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Great. Okay, Jim, how you doing? Is this going to be on uh, movies? Or? Oh, actually, this is videotape, and we're going to be previewing this on our 20th. On when? On our 20th reunion. Oh, oh good, that, huh? good. What are you up to these days? Well, I'm up in Rochester, New York. Doing, doing what? Uh, working for Xerox. Xerox? Yeah. Hey, big firm. Yep. They, have a big. they have a tremendous uh, learning facilities. I understand that they very select few people get through there. In so Leesburg, Virginia. Well, you're to be congratulated to be a part of such a tremendous firm because I know they're very selective out there. But uh, you've been with them how long now? Eight years. And you've been married how long? Uh, eight years. Well, you got married. That's right. When I got married, I figured it's time to find a job. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good incentive, I'd say. <laughs> anyway, Dick, it's been a pleasure uh, interviewing Thanks, Jim. you. Glad you made it we'll down here. We'll see you at 20 listen. years. You bet you. Well, at the 20th, in five years. Oh, it's <laughs> true. You blew it right here at the end. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Already on tape. Hey, we are going live right here right. from Corning, New York. <laughs> And uh, we have, you know this little help? Believe it or not, this is little I Nancy Jones. Little, little Nancy I'm Jones. I'm Jones down there, you know? With the glasses. With the glasses. Hey, whatever yeah. happened to those? Yes, he is. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? He's not watching, don't worry. Uh oh. Here he comes. Oh, the curly headed little fella. Are you still playing the sax on the piano? Yeah. Are well, you no, really? No, just the piano. I've gotten away from the sax. Have you? Yeah. You did really well. Thank you. I, I mean, a, you did it without lessons or anything. Yeah. Right? There's, there's a, a few people that do that, but you know, I like. I would prefer to read. Would I you? really would. And I, you still don't? No, I still don't. You still, you you still don't read. Don't read. <laughs> 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 That's right. Camera up there, Bob. We're yeah. on it, huh? Hey, Bob. <laughs> Jim Kynan here. Good-looking girl hey, here. Hey, isn't, she's all right, boy. isn't she? She's developed well over the last 15 years. Yes, she to see. Who's Jim the went to Sunday school with me. Yeah? Played in the band with me. Yeah. Is that right? Dear Mr. Rossi. Oh, hey, you know, I've talked with him a couple times. As a matter of fact, I called him up long distance about a month ago. and had a nice little chat. He's in. Uh, he's got very bad. Um, You're kidding. Uh, sugar diabetes. Oh and no. Not, not looking real good. As a matter of fact, he almost died a couple of times. Oh, so sad. It was a pleasure talking with him. Though he's a he's a tremendous guy. He's one of my highlights of, of my high school years. Yeah. He played at our wedding reception. <laughs> oh, did he really? Oh, his Over band. Over at oh. That burned down. A tremendous yeah. band he had. Yeah. Bob, what are you doing? I work at Kodak. Kodak, out yep. in Rochester. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You know, I think there's just about as many people in Rochester as there is in, living in here in Corning. Almost as many. Not quite, though. Not quite as many. Do you associate your winds up the year 1966 reunion for 1981, August 15th here, going on about 7 o'clock p.m.? Rained out, I would say. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it's still on. Uh, right. We were talking day. last time about the people who changed the most. And the guys, who would you say they were? Oh, Pete Deneen and... Uh, by the way, Pete was one of the guys that was Mike Fright. Had a little bit of Mike Fright there. Oh, did he? Yeah, he wouldn't get down here. Okay. That little goatee of his uh, looks all right, huh? Who else? Oh, let's see. Chuck uh, Spears, Charlie Spears. Yeah, nice guy. He was on here. His wife wouldn't get on. Mm -hmm. But uh, those two are the guys. How about the girls? Ruthie Love, without a doubt. Absolutely. I think that's pretty much a general consensus on the part of everybody here. Uh, the comments that I've overheard, anyway, that Ruthie Love is... Uh, they really come through with flying colors. Uh, her hair's a different color. A sharp little chick, I guess they would say. I think so. <laughs> Those are layman terms you would say. Let's not make <laughs> Well, I'm single. I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. But at any rate, uh, we've all had a real good time here. Five years from now, indoors, probably over the Hilton or something like that. Isn't that where we had it last Hilton, time? Hilton last time. That was our 10-year class reunion. Ten -year. And uh, we had a big turnout then, as I recall. About 300 then. 300? Mm -hmm. Well, how many of our class members? Uh, about 200 class members. The rest were wives or we husbands. A, we have about 60 members here today, and uh, 60 of which are, another 60 of which are the spouses. So, yeah. so 120 or so. Pretty good turnout. 
Uh, not as good as we'd, we'd like, but what can you do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, see you in about five years, guys. Okay. I'd like to extend appreciation to you as a cameraman today, too. Huh? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot.